Hey guys, what's up? Can you see me now? I hope so. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. It's actually evening already. Um, if you haven't noticed, then uh, the vlogs has been kind of, you know, not so frequently as before. And yeah, I have been writing down many different ideas of and topics, uh, what to talk about in new videos. So you guys not just gonna like go with me to work every day because I started an internship and that's not very interesting because it looks the same every single day. So yeah, I thought I would share with you guys other things of my life and uh, thoughts and um, cultural experiences and you know, whatever comes along uh, here in China, like life in China in general. And today, today I thought I would share with you my top five favorite music, Chinese uh, music right now. My top five Chinese, my, my favorite, my top five favorite Chinese bands and musicians uh, right now. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> I've been listening to music all day at work and the day before and the day before and then I thought, Oh, I should share with you guys because I remember when I started learning Chinese, I would download uh, QQ Music, which is a really good app if you want to listen to music abroad as well. Also, Wang Yun, what? No, Wang Yun, Wang Yun Yun Yu. Uh, that was a little more tricky. There are so many different ones. You should just. Uh, just check it out online. I'll write QQ Yin Yue down uh, below here as well. Put a link so you uh, can see where to find it. But anyway, I just have it here on my phone. And um, yeah, what I wanted to say was that before, when I started learning Chinese, I would just go into the app and everything would be in Chinese. And I, I would be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can't read anything. Uh, so I just slowly learned more and more characters so I could like get around and try to click and click and click and, you know, it, then you just kind of learn it and uh, so I started listening to music and I only listened to like the most popular songs in Chinese uh, in China and I was like Ugh, this is horrible like I don't like it it's the same kind of song all the time I don't get anything out of it so I was like okay I just don't like Chinese music that's about it I just don't like it I thought <laughs> Uh, I don't know why it didn't come to me that China is a really big country and there will be many different genres but um, yeah no I didn't think about that at that time but later on I of course discovered other great uh, bands and musicians uh, through my friends and if I bumped into something you know. So anyway my top five today I'm gonna share with you. I'm finding it on the phone right now, by the way. <laughs> Let's take uh, number one. It's called Hao Mei Mei Le Dui. So, Good Little Sister band. And uh, it's, yeah, it's two boys. <laughs> it's two boys. It's very, like, slow and very comfortable and lots of drums, like, really slow. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice music. You should definitely check them out. I'll write all the names below as well. So, how me me, luo dui, how me me, no not luo dui, how me me yue dui, yin yue yue dui. Sorry, how me me yue dui. Um, then we have one is called um ding ding yu xi xi, ding ding yu xi xi, and it's kind of the same genre very slow and comfortable and not too many instruments and no electronic or anything like it's just very it's almost like acoustic actually they have a few uh songs in uh english as well but uh but also very good chinese songs yeah okay the third one is called chen hong yu hong yu mm, super comfortable as well hong yu Oh, these names are so difficult. Sorry if I say it wrong, guys. Like, I'll write it down for you as well so you can find it because <clears throat> don't trust my pronunciation. Like, especially not if it's characters I haven't seen before. So many of these names, I can only read them, but I can't read them aloud. Like, I know them, I can recognize them, but I can't read them aloud. So that's a problem. 
Then we have number four, which is an old classic called, uh, it's a guy, sorry, it's a guy, an old classic called Sung Dong Ye. Yeah, I didn't know the pronunciation just before, so I just had to check my dictionary because I'm just used to only reading it on my phone. I never really tell people, so that's why, sorry for that. But that was number four, which is also a super cozy and relaxing um, musician. His songs are really nice and comfortable to listen to as well. I think all of the ones I'm listen to, listening to right now are like super slow and comfortable because when I'm working, I usually, well, I can work to like super aggressive music, but I also really like the opposite, which is just comfy and relaxing. And it's not too noisy in my head because it's like background noise, you know, like not noise, background music, so I can concentrate on what I'm doing for work as well, which is a really uh, good combination. Yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, we need to move on to number five. Five! And then we have number five, which is another musician, a girl called Jia Ni. No, Jia Ni. Jia Ni. It's first and first uh, tone. Jia Ni. Jia <laughs> anyway, her music is just like the other ones, really comfy and cozy and relaxing and not too crazy and like um, it's also actually they're all slow enough for you to be able to sing along if you want to practice your pronunciation or if you want to practice to speak a little faster Chinese. Um, you can check out, you know, the lyrics are on QQ music so you can see it while she's singing it and follow or you can just follow without singing and then sing later on if you want to and you know, you don't have to make a big show out of it but just to practice your pronunciation. So anyway. Anyways, guys, uh, that's my five uh, favorite Chinese uh, bands or musicians right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any good recommendations, please leave comments below. I would love to hear what you guys are listening to. Uh, I'm very open to all kinds of music, so whatever you're listening to, just uh, put it down below and I'll check it out. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and zai jian. Bye bye.